And just so you guys know, it is not, uh, it's not Flex's fault. Ryobi doesn't have a turbo button. Sorry. All right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, mainly what we do on this channel is we find out the difference between uh, tool brands. In this case, we're gonna see what the difference is between the new Ryobi HP hammer drill and the Flex hammer drill. The Flex has a turbo button that we will be using in this episode because that's the benefit of having a Flex tool because turbo button's there, so we are gonna use it. And the Ryobi has the, the coordination between the HP batteries and the motor. And so, and the reason why we're doing a five amp hour versus four amp hour because this battery is brand new. Uh, it's a new design and it is HP. It does have the special connections in the back and I'm seriously curious on how this actually will act in a real versus video. For the concrete, we are gonna do a half inch Bosch, uh, the blue granite turbo. And so yeah, so I got a heavy piece of concrete uh, that's over there. And so yeah, so let's go over the specs of these really quick and then see how these actually do against each other. So we are gonna do the Ryobi first. Uh, one thing about the ha Ryobi's handle, I think it should be a little bit longer. Flex's handle is a little bit more comfortable to hold. This is, uh, it's just not long enough, so. But it is an upgrade compared to their older modeled uh, handle. First, we're gonna do a one and a quarter inch spade bit. It is on drill, it's on speed two. Battery is full. We'll check the battery life at the end of the video, see which one can serve as power more. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Up. Oh, it stopped. That's a shame. All right, so Ryobi failed on that. If the Flex is able to do, uh, do that on speed two, Ryobi is gonna fail that. And guys, please don't give me crap in the comments about the batteries. North America does not make a five amp hour uh, battery for Ryobi. They do it in another country, but not in America. I just wanna see what the new battery does. All right, so we're gonna do this right here. It is on drill speed two. We're gonna use the turbo mode. I think it could do it in turbo mode. All right, so right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Damn, not too shabby. Alrighty, so next we are gonna do a two and a half hole dozer hole. It's on uh, drill, speed two. Battery is full. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so next let's do the flex. All right, it's on drill, speed two, turbo is on, because I know it could do it in turbo. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. First we're gonna do a six inch specs. Uh, speed two, it's on drill. We'll check the battery life at the end of the video. Uh, right here is good. Actually, we'll do it right here. So, ready, go. Time. It released the bit. All right, so it is Flex's turn. Right here is good. It's on drill, speed two. Turbo mode is on. Oh, sorry, the battery life is full still. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Wow, that did that fast. It did, it did that very fast. Not too shabby at all. All right, so let's take uh, Ryobi's out. It's on speed two still. Ready, go. Time. All right, so next let's do the flex. Speed two, it's on turbo still. Ready, go. 
Wow, you can hear that motor just go. All right, so next let's do an eight inch Timberlock. Do the Ryobi first, it's on speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good, ready, go. Time. So let's do the flex right next to it, right there. It's on two, it's on turbo. Ready, go. Snap that. See, like when it comes to stuff like this, that turbo mode just it just it kicks in the, it kicks in and it majorly helps the tool out. Majorly helps the tool out. All right, so and just so you guys know, it is not uh, it's not Flex's fault. Ryobi doesn't have a turbo button. Sorry. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take out flexes. All right, so ready, go. Snap. See, that's fast. That is fast. All right, so next, let's increase the intensity of the test. Let's uh, bring in a four inch by half inch lag. So, all right, so for this test, we're, we're gonna do one four inch each and one six inch each. We'll do the four inch first with the Ryobi. And just so you guys know, this is not the only video I'll be doing of these two. We will be doing different batteries. Uh, once I get the Flex eight amp hour battery, we'll do a nine amp hour versus eight amp hour. And so, yeah, so like this is not the only video I'll be making of this, of these two tools going at it together. Right here is good. Do you need a step on this? Up oh, speed one is required for these. All right, so I wish this handle was a little bit longer. All right, so ready, go. Uh, it loosened up. Let's continue. Oh, did I break it? I think I broke the, I think I broke that. I think I broke the bit. I got more. Continue one more time. Time, it did it. It did do it. All right, and for this, because the turbo button will actually, uh, I believe the turbo button will weaken it, but we are gonna have turbo off. We're gonna have that on speed one. Right here is good. I hope I didn't break this uh, bit. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Did it. And it did do it easier than the Ryobi did. Uh, I do not know what the time is, but I'm sorry for the Ryobi it, that uh, it slipped out of its chuck. Let's reverse it a little bit. There we go. That's good. All right, so let's take it out for the Ryobi. All right, ready? Go. Time. I'll stop the timer at the proper time. All right, time for flex. Ready, go. Time, I'll stop the prop, uh, timer at the proper time for that as well. That's what I gotta make sure, okay. All right, next let's do a six inch leg. Got a six inch right here. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it stopped right there. Let's see if it, if it could continue. And that's as much as the uh, Ryobi will do. Like I said, no tool, it did, it did do this in a different video, but no tool acts the same. So, but it failed at this time. So I'd say there's about a quarter of an inch left right there, but it did not drive it all the way in. So I, I am gonna fail the Ryobi on that one. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. 
You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, you heard that? See, there's something there. There's something. I, I said this in the unboxing video of this. There has to be something inside that gives the motor extra, uh, extra power when truly needed. All right, let's see if Ryobi can take it out. I will be surprised if it can. Go. Yes, it can. Time. Like I said, Ryobi could do that task in another video, but it did not finish it in this video. All right, so let's take out flexes. All right, so ready? Go. Bam. Time. All right, you guys, so what we have here is we have the half inch brand new uh, bit for Bosch. I forgot what this is called. I said in the beginning of the video, but we're going to do one hole each. It's on speed two. It is on hammer mode. The flex is on speed two, hammer mode, and the turbo button. All right, so battery is still full. Hammer feature work. Yep. Wow. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Wow, that actually surprised me. I, I think this is my first time actually using this, uh, the hammer feature on this tool. I don't remember, but it might be. That actually was really fast. I'm surprised about that. All right, let me vacuum that up. 84 degrees. Ryobi got to 84 degrees. Right here is good. It's on hammer, speed two. Turbo mode is on. And I didn't need to clear the fluid out on that at all. So I'm going to assume that I won't need to do that for this either. All right, so ready? Go. Time, 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 not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. That, the, this, that is extremely fast, but that is a bit loud. But who cares if it's loud? Cause you're, you know, you're drilling into concrete. If I'm drilling into concrete, the last thing I'm gonna worry about is noise. 80, 80 degrees. So the Flex did run a tad bit cooler than the Ryobi did. Alrighty, so like I said, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but of, uh, I do not know the concrete test was actually a mind blow to me. I, 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 that's too close to tell which one actually got that one. I did not expect the Ryobi to perform like that when it comes to the concrete. That was actually a, uh, that blew my mind a little bit. They're both good tools, but, uh, the flex still, you know, it is a little bit more, it is more powerful, but on an average, my videos aren't here to determine a winner. Like don't buy this tool, buy this tool. I, these videos are to show you on the difference between this and this. Now there also is a big um, major cost difference, which I don't do that as often as I should. I normally don't include cost in these. I keep saying I will, but I keep forgetting, you know, but yeah, but like the, uh, yeah, this is a four amp hour battery versus five amp hour battery. But like I said, this is not gonna be the only video I do of these. We are gonna do these again in the future with uh, bigger batteries. And so, yeah, but that is this versus video. Uh, yeah, the, the, I, I, I can't wait to edit this video and see what that concrete was. That, like, that, that blew my mind. You know, for this one too, like, like the, this one did have some extra vibration uh, in the tool. But yeah, they're both good tools. They're both very powerful. They're both powerful. Yes, one is more powerful than the other. But so first, let's do the Flex. The Flex model number is FX1271T. It's a 24 volt system. Uh, it has two speed settings, zero to 500 RPMs, and on speed two, zero to, zero to 2,000 RPMs. And with the turbo button, it is zero to 700 RPMs and zero to 2,500 RPMs. So on speed one, it is uh, two, uh, 200 
RPMs more, and on Speed 3, it is 500 RPMs more, which for certain things, that will come majorly handy. And if the turbo button seems to sort of back this down a little bit doing the task, we will be tur turning the turbo button out to help out the tool because that's the benefit of the turbo button. You could turn on and off as needed. 24 point clutch and it has its own separate transmission for hammer, drill and screw. So as soon as you go into drill, as soon as you go into uh, drill, uh, the clutch is, it, it's not used. So, so yeah, but as soon as you put that on the screw, then the clutch is being used. And the same thing, I'm not sure how the hammer feature works when it comes to the clutch, but, but yeah. So that is the flex. Uh, when it comes to the grip, you know, it, it does feel a little awkward. It feels like a rigid, uh, rigid grip. And this is a five amp hour battery. The battery is full. I absolutely love how uh, the life of the battery is displayed. It's on both sides, but it's a brushless motor. And so that is the flex. All right, so for the Ryobi, this is model number PBLHM101. It is a uh, 18 volt system. Uh, th this goes to on speed uh, two speed settings. This goes to zero to five hundred on speed one and zero to twenty one hundred on speed two. Uh, this has zero to thirty one thousand beats per minute for the hammer feature. Half inch fully metal, metal chuck. And oh, I'm sorry, this is also a half inch fully metal chuck. And so yeah, this is metal uh, metal housing along with the flex. That is also a metal housing, which I love. And so, yeah, but when it comes to Ryobi, Ryobi does have my favorite grip. I love the handle. It fits perfectly in my hand. It's not too big. It's not too small. And it's, it sits in my hand perfectly. And so I love on how uh, Ryobi's uh, handle is. This is uh, the OnePlus HP brushless uh, motor. We will be using a 4 amp hour battery because I am seriously curious on how well this battery actually does. I only did a, a few... This only did a few videos with this, so I'm actually curious on how well it's actually going to do in a real competition. And so battery is full. And so yeah, 4 amp hour battery. Uh, I'd rather use this 4 amp hour battery than a 6 amp hour older HP battery because this might have new technology that might help the tool out. So I want to put this battery to the test. And so yeah, so this has a 20 point clutch plus 2, which the plus 2 is hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is the clutch. And so it does not have its own separate transmission, which personally I like this better because you don't have to worry about an extra, extra thing to move. You just move the clutch itself, then you're good to go. And so, yeah, so that is the Ryobi HP. So, and if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.